You must be getting plenty of redstone then, are you? <laughs> yeah. That's the stuff. Uh, oh, redstone's tough to get. Um, we've got nine stacks of 64. Oh. Uh, we've got 10 stacks of 64 gold. We've got, where's the iron? Oh, the iron's currently in the smeltery, being smelted into blocks and ingots. And I'm currently making a lot of uh, quartz stuff. Do you, know the, do you know the only downside, Johnny? What? We're running out of draw space. Yeah, I thought that would happen. <clears throat> There's nothing really for me to do at the minute. What? In game? Yeah. <laughs> Eat up time. Thing bad, I'm sorry. That field's going to grow as quick as you're seeding it. Uh, you speed up time. So, flux control. Yes. Honestly, no idea what's going on with me today. Everything keeps breaking. Seventy four is played. I'm glad done. Braves. 74 is done. Plowed and seeded and ready to go. Right. Balance farm. I'm fine with promoting other streamers, <clears throat> but when somebody doesn't even follow you, they just pop into your channel and say, hey, come over and watch my stream. That's an insta -bam. And then everybody jumps over there and takes the piss out of them, which is fun. Yeah. Normally what I do, I just jump over there and go, hey, come watch my stream. Yeah, turn about fair play yeah. thing. Don't watch this douche. Come over and watch me. I laughed <laughs> and ate the gig of band out of here. And went to Tomcat stream and started whispering everybody in Tomcat stream, don't go over and follow Car of Johnny too, because he's an ass. Somebody told Tomcat about it and Tomcat banned him and went through him for a shortcut. I, I watched the VOD back, it was very funny. I thought it was brilliant. I think I know who you're on about. <laughs> I think you were the one who told me about it. Yeah, I told you about him, yeah. Yeah. He since apologized for that and he's no longer banned, but I just thought it was funny as shit that night. Well, some folks don't get it. When you. Entered. Take a dump and a streamer's Wheaties, so to speak. Uh, you're probably going to end up getting banned, but not just from that stream, but a lot more, because word travels fast. Oh well, hell yeah! Oh, where did the freezer go that was down here? I don't know, but I put too much spice in that macaroni and cheese. I <laughs> still got sweat rolling off my forehead. Those are things too much spice. <laughs> and there that's one big forehead, Jesus. 
I mean, um, what? Uh, well, yeah, it goes halfway back across my head, so, yeah. <laughs> I love you, Pat. because I can't reverse. So you prefer to use the bunkers instead of the fermenting silos? Yeah, it just adds an extra layer of difficulty to the game. Well, that's cool. And yeah, it is. <laughs> it's actually multiple layers of difficulty compared to, compared to fermenting silo. But there's nothing wrong with doing it that way. That's the way it's it, supposed to be played. Don Diego had a fermenting silo on it. And we were making so much money out of that thing. We cleared that map in like two weeks. And that's a big map. So I was kind of glad that they weren't on PV. I thought that's what was going to happen. They were going to be released with fermenting silos. Because there's a lot of people who doesn't like the bunkers. And I was kind of glad then when it, they didn't get released that way. I switched to the fermenting silo when I found BDBs. I tried another person's and I didn't like it at all. It was almost as hard as using the bunkers. Because I, I had to get it out of there with a bucket. Oh yeah, because yeah, yeah. I, I, we had it on one of the servers too. It's like, you know, this is ridiculous. There's got to be a better way. So um, I went back to using bunkers. I suppose you probably could have used the phrase A on it. Phrase E or whatever the hell is managed. Well, I call it a snowblower, but yeah, phrase E. The problem is, for some reason, on that, I'll call it a bunker output on that placeable, it, it wouldn't sit there and suck it all out. You had to keep moving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It, it's like, nope, this ain't gonna work, folks. I gotta find another solution. Jesus, even half eleven at night, London is absolutely chock a block. What's your London? London's like New York now. London never sleeps. That's the one reason I hated New York, because it didn't sleep, and you couldn't fucking sleep when you were in it. A lot of people are like, oh, that's the best thing about New York. No, it was horrible. I hated it. There was no downtime in New York. And I'm sorry anybody who lives in New York City that's watching. I genuinely am. But, hey, I, I, it's not the place for me. It was too lively. Well, I don't Lots think of streams. I like Vapor Gamer, there's, oh God, there's lots of people in here who also stream. Um, we got Sam OBS. Sam. Sam O streams. I can't think of his <laughs> fucking name now. BSOO. Um, Kajiva Kid. BBFS Gaming. Badzilla. Green Dad's host me earlier on. The, the amount of friends that I have who stream is just unbelievable. I really have, like, a. I'm probably streaming less time than most of the names you're only after hearing. Actually, I am streaming less time than most of the names you're after hearing. And they all just tuck me in, tuck me under their wing and help me out. Well, I've been mostly just networking. 
Yeah, I was living in the... I took a break. I moved over um, squarely, moved over to the States, and I was supposed to stay in New York for three months. And I lasted, well, we'll say four days. Three full days and a half a day. I couldn't, just could not get on with that city. And then everybody says, oh, you didn't give it a chance. I give it enough of a chance for my liking. Um, so I left New York and I went to Boston and stayed in Boston for about three weeks and then got a job on a ranch about a hundred mile north of Cape Cod and that's where I ended up and then I'm not even a hundred mile but 60 I think it was I'm not sure now what the exact distance was that's where I ended up and absolutely loved it Boston is absolutely gorgeous Boston's beautiful and the people are I'm sorry to say it, but the people are nicer in Boston than they are in New York. I'd agree. I'd totally agree with that. Typically, I don't, I don't, typically I don't like big cities. Um, I like a city that sort of goes to sleep at night, but yet there's 24-hour places like Walmart. Yeah. But but yet pretty much the, the traffic and all the congestion and stuff like that it it goes to sleep like at nine ten o'clock at night. New yeah, York. there's still traffic on the road, you know. But New York never slept. Two o'clock in the I morning know. was like two o'clock in the day in New York. It just was the same from the whole time. I went yeah, to Vegas yeah. in March, just gone. I loved it. Funny, I went to Vegas before I came home the second time I was in America and absolutely adored Vegas. Even though it's another metal city that never sleeps, there's something completely different about it in New York. Just the and it wasn't even the gambling. Yes, I did gamble. I think everybody gambles a bit whenever they go to Vegas. I ended up winning five thousand dollars out of a poker machine in the airport on the way home. I was getting rid of the last, I had 27 silver dollars left on me and I was getting rid of them before I came home. And I ended up winning 5,000. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So I got it changed in um, JFK airport then, before I flew home. So it was nice, it, it paid for the, for the whole holiday that me and the other guy had. I split it with him and it just paid for our holiday that we had nice. before we were coming home. That was just... It was just epic. So, I can tell you, I worked hard whenever I was over there, and I ended up coming home to a bank account just over seven and a half grand, which I was very proud of. wasn't bad for nine months' work. And I, I, I enjoyed myself when I was over there. I went out every weekend. I, I worked hard during the week, and I went out at the weekends, and I enjoyed every minute of it. That's pretty cool. Would love to go back. Would absolutely love to go back. And still, I've made up the decision never to go back. We still have no kids, you know. We don't own a house over here, so we've not really holding us here. So you never know. This might get me back to America in a few years' time. Ah, should I just pick up chaff? Oh, you can actually hold two things in this at once. You're always welcome as an apprentice with me, Johnny. That's weird. Yeah, I, I didn't know you could do that. Me hell? either. Why is it glitching through the ground now? What the hell? What is going on with that I've never thing? seen that before. Oh. Hmm. Something very weird going on with the phrase, eh? Hey guys. What's up, NC? I haven't heard your voice in a few days. Yeah. You want to know why you were able to hold two different items? Why? Because the silage cutter is holding one while the auger wagon is holding the other. Ah, right. When I empty the silage out of the auger wagon, it'll blow. The chaff should go into it. 
I don't know what's going on with the phrase 